Honest. Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet all at last, and welcome back to HJN. And now, here on HJN, right now, I'd like to go ahead and talk about some more subjects here. And I've already gotten a few more in line, so mythology is going to be my next pick out of all of them for today. So here on May 18th, I know I'm going to be doing a lot of these as pre-recordings, but May 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and onward, I'm pretty much just going to see how long I can keep this going without running out of episodes. So, going back to mythology though, it's basically the study of things that are seen as not real or non-existent. Mythological creatures out there, including the Kraken or the Dragon, even though arguments about that have been made because of the fact that, well, there's the Komodo Dragon and other animals like that, I mean. There's lots of people who try to best the others out there into thinking that there are dragons out there, but the Komodo dragon, though, it's not actually a dragon. It's just a large 10-foot-long reptilian piece that's just extremely dangerous in the most cases. If it bites you, it infects you with some sort of deadly bacteria. And, of course, there is a lot of others that I would probably go ahead and talk about it, but... <sighs> I'm not really the fan of mythological stuff going on out there. Though I have, in fact, delved into certain fantasy-based worlds of some sort. I have, in fact, been able to determine the fact that many people out there who distinguish what's real and what's not, I can certainly tell by now that many people who go ahead and play something on their game console, for example, a fantasy-based game, something that they could never do in real life, it's certainly an endeavor worth trying out. But trying to find something like that in real life would certainly be non-existent, because, of course, there are historical fiction-based games out there that happen to delve into the more mythological side of certain cultures and the like that were made way back in history. Of course, way back in time, we never really had a lot to do with any of these mythological things that are continuously brought up, but in terms of the medieval times, the times where knights, castles, and the like were pretty much around a lot of times, there were so many things out there that many people just didn't realize that were truly existent during the Dark Ages or the medieval period in time itself. But as time itself got on, we managed to get ourselves through the colonial era, the Victorian era, and the millennial era, which is here today. But, of course, as time itself went on, we were, in fact, able to just simply put together certain pieces of the puzzles. And historians out there who are indeed watching this will get to know the fact that, well, there were not anything out there that even resembled a dragon of anything mythological creatures of all sorts they're just simply non-existent they're just things that people have in fact made up and they have gotten very popular over the years mythology of course plays a huge role in understanding today's society because it does in fact allow for us to extinguish what's non-existent and just simply take in what is existent. And the fact is, is that the dragon, the unicorn, and the many other things out there, unless they are indeed proven to be existent with an actual live species of these animals, even if it does take a long time for us to figure that out, if there really is something like that that is real, then well, only time will tell. It may take centuries or even millennial for that to take place. But until any of that happens, then well, we could just safely consider the fact that nothing is pretty much existent. Although I can point out, robots, aliens, there's no way that they could never be non-existent here. There's just no way. 
if they were non-existent, then well, I mean, I wouldn't be engrudging about it, but there's just got to be a way. But I pretty much will hold on that part because I have talked a lot about both of those. So if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.